Hello, welcome to the Great Basin Plant Material Center here in Fallon, Nevada. My name is Christopher Baranow and I am the manager of this facility. In our last video, we talked about the six commercial releases that were developed by the ARS and the NRCS. We also mentioned that we are working on a seventh release. Now you might wonder, why do we need a seventh release if we already have six releases? We already have Paloma, which is recommended for the southern half of Indian rice grass range. We already have Nespar, which is the northern half of the range, and we have several releases that kind of grow in between special spots throughout that range. The reason we need a seventh release is mainly drought tolerance. Now, Indian rice grass is one of the most drought tolerant bunch grasses we have, but all these releases were collected at the 10 inch rainfall zone or higher. Even Paloma, which is recommended for the southern half of the range, was collected at a 12 inch rainfall zone and higher. So we think that we might be able to get a release that is more drought tolerant. Throughout Nevada, our lower sagebrush steppes, our salt desert scrubs, our greasewood flats, all have less than 10 inches of rain a year. We went and collected seed from the bottoms of our valleys throughout central Nevada, areas next to the salt desert scrub within the greasewood flats, trying to find the most drought hardy seed. We took those seeds, we germinated them, and then we planted them alongside these other releases. And these are growing now right here. Once we collected the seed from our valleys, we prepared them to be planted out here in this row fabric. To do that, we took the seeds, prepped them up by scarifying them and putting them in our germination chamber. When they grew a little bit in the chamber, we moved them to containers and moved them to our greenhouse that you can see back here. And after about three months of growing in those uh, containers, we moved them out here into this row fabric, connected drip irrigation to them, and started uh, really managing them to produce as much as they could. As you can see, even though these are all Indian rice grass, they're grown in the same conditions. They have the same drip irrigation because we are irrigating them. They were germinated at the same time, grown at the same time, planted out here at the same time. Even though everything has been the same, they are very different from each other. Each valley, even though the valleys are next to each other, has different characteristics. Our goal is to look at these different characteristics, collect data on how fast they grow, how much biomass they produce, how many seeds they produce, and how drought tolerant they are. We'll collect data on them, try to find the best one that we have, compare that to the commercial releases, and if we have one that outperforms the commercial releases, we will release ours as the seventh release. Now, if you're looking around, and you're seeing these short Indian rice grasses and this big, big bushy one right next to it, you might think, wait, you already have a better performing rice grass compared to the other valleys. And just kind of the visual of it right now, you might be right. This might be the one to select. However, this is not the only characteristics we're looking at. We are trying to find drought hardy. And these small ones, even though they're smaller, might be putting on more roots and might be able to survive drought longer and better than these big ones. And so we won't know for sure until we collect all the data and do the various analyses. But that's what we're working on. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good product here in the next few years. Thank you. Hi again. You might have seen this bag and wondered what the heck is it and why do none of the other Indian rice grasses have a bag sitting on it? The reason is because we just haven't gotten to them yet. Uh, we're about to do that here in the next few days. Um, we are trying to isolate the seeds so that they don't cross pollinate. Now Indian rice grass is a typically a selfing plant so usually it doesn't cross with other uh, Indian rice grass but the key there is usually and so since we don't know for sure and we're trying to develop it for release, we kind of want to keep the different collections 
uh, genetically isolated. And you could do that either by having a big buffer of about uh, several hundred feet for uh, selfing plants and sometimes uh, half a mile for pollinating plants, insect pollinated plants. Um, or in this case, we put it all in a single strip so we can make comparisons a little better, have one single drip tape, and then we put these bags on the, the seeds to isolate them. So we'll cover all the, all the plants with these bags, isolate as many seeds as possible, and then over the summer, collect the bags. Hopefully we have as many usable seeds as possible. We'll germinate those out, and those will be the ones that we uh, test for drought tolerance, emergence, and other characteristics that we would want in a seventh release. Thank you.